Good afternoon. Hi, this is Audrey with The Creator's Attic. I have had a request to show the process um, on how I do these index cards. I coffee dye these index cards and I use them in many projects. In some of my um, videos, you can probably see where I have been, I have used these. And um, I was going to show you the quick, simple process that I do just to um, do these because I don't really dye my paper like this, but this saves a lot of cleanup time. It's uh, not very messy and it works really great for me. So I have my nonstick cookie sheet here and I have it on some black plastic tarp. Um, the tarp, you can get this tarp. Um, this one I think came from Walmart maybe, or um, it may have come from, oh actually probably the Dollar Tree, but it's just, uh, I cut mine up into strips, I, I quarter them, and they, that way that I can, I can have um, a smaller tarp or I can, you know, add them together and make a bigger tarp, but that's what I let my papers dry on. I don't like to let mine bake in the oven. I don't like those marks that you get from the grill, the grill marks. Um, so, especially if you're, why go to all that trouble when you can just l let it d dry on a tarp? So, that's what I do. But, um, this way, um, is a simple way to do a small project, small papers, such as these, um, index cards. So, I've brought along my, I think this came from Walmart, this spray bottle, and I have mixed up my instant coffee in here. Um, it's pretty concentrated. Um, I, you can use, I found that the cheapest brands to use for coffee dyeing that actually give you beautiful colors um, is the Great Value from Walmart. You can get that instant coffee. Now I have added water to this because I I found find it easier just, I know I could use a funnel, but it's, you have to wash the funnel. So I find it easier just to open this up and then just pour it into the this bottle so I just mix it up in here and then I pour it into this bottle um, and usually I will have pretty much 50% um, coffee and 50% water um, if not more coffee than that to get this um, you can see the sediment on the bottom here because I you can just pop this in your fridge when you're not using it and refrigerate it and it will keep for I mean I don't I use mine frequently, but I mean, it's kept for me for months before, and it's just a simple way if you don't want to add alcohol uh, to your coffee dye and store it that way. Because sometimes if you store your, um, your I say your coffee dye, your coffee mixture, whatever that you use to dye papers, if you if you let it sit out, it kind of gets an odor because it kind of just goes bad, I think, in a way after a while of sitting out in room temperature. So I just pop mine in the fridge when I'm done and, and uh, just pull it out when I need it. And uh, another brand that's cheap that you can use um, that since to work is this Cafe Bustelo. Um, it is instant coffee as well, and it is also very inexpensive to use, and I believe that's what I have in here today. So, getting to it, I have my index cards. I have both sizes. I have the 4x6, I believe, and the 3x5s. Um, I think that's what they are, but uh, anyway, both sizes because I need both sizes, and I need some more because I've gotten some orders, and I do not have enough index cards. So, um, for the people that have requested to see this, this is how I do it. So, I am going to take and make sure this is on the spray setting, and I'm just going to kind of spray my pan just a little bit. Just, you don't have to spray when you first start, but I, I just like to. Um, and I'm just going to lay a couple of index cards down. Um, and on here and then I'm simply just gonna spray over them and you don't have to saturate them um, you just want to make sure they're covered and I just do like this with the hand do like this and just kind of smear it and then flip it over and do the same it's so easy and then just I'll have this 
and it doesn't have to be perfect. It'll dry. It gives, um, you just set it like this. I have this and I just set it on my tarp to dry over here and do the other one. Now, if you want to give it a little bit more of a rugged look, you can start to kind of rub it in to the index card and you see how you get kind of these um, little things start to kind of come up. It's the paper, it's actually kind of giving way. It gives it a little bit of a rough look if you like that. Um, I do that to a lot of my cards and it kind of makes the um, the coffee go into the paper a little bit more. However, if you're putting something on it, like gluing something on top of it, you have to make sure that you um, don't have too many of these paper um, balls, I guess, they, that uh, occur when you do this process. But see, this has gonna have a little bit different look than this one that I did here. And I really like this look. Um, I don't really have much trouble gluing stuff onto those cards like that. But that is just simply what I do to dye index cards. See how simple it is? Just spray it down. If I need a little bit more, come in. But just don't waste your coffee. You can keep your coffee contained in this in this here um, here in this cookie sheet and this is it and you just let them dry on the, on the tarp air dry they are usually done within a couple of hours and voila so you have these um index cards that come out beautifully like this just from this simple process so i hope that that answers um any questions that you may have about how I coffee dye my index cards. It's that simple, that easy. Um, please check out my Etsy store. It's also the Creator's Attic. If you need any junk journal supplies or I have some great antique ephemera kits over there. They're all antique and vintage ephemera kits. I have uh, sticker mystery grab bags and all kinds of journaling cards and bookmarks uh playing cards vintage playing cards that are just really beautiful and some handmade items that i pop in there occasionally and there will be some some writing journals but whatever just check it out and if you like my channel please like subscribe and share for others i really appreciate you joining me today have a wonderful afternoon and happy crafting Bye bye